I was born in a Hindu family in India um, and I was the only male child to my parents. Uh, since I was the only male child, so they started uh, teaching me a lot of uh, Hindu sacred scriptures and also taught me to follow Hindu rituals. And um, from my childhood, I was a, um, I, I was a very strong idol worshipper and I was worshipping idols. Uh, almost um, every week uh, of my uh, high school and even elementary and middle school years. And this is how my life was going on and all my friends thought I was a very nice person and my relatives thought I was a very good person but inside my heart I knew how wicked I was. As my life was going on like that, one day I had an encounter with my aunt who was a believer in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. She for the first time she told me that Jesus Christ is really the true God and not the idols that I worshipped. And then when I said uh, I would not worship your God Jesus, rather I would worship my Hindu idols at any day. Be and because I was always very presumptuous in my understanding and in my nature and I had a hatred towards Western uh, religion. I was thinking that Christianity was always for Western people. Uh, but God in his great mercy and an amazing grace, he actually changed my life when I was 16 year old. Um, one day uh, there was a conversation that I had with my aunt. My aunt asked me a very peculiar question. The, the question was like this, Ramesh, if you stand before Jesus Christ now and if you also stand before your idols now, how would you worship them? My answer was spontaneous. My reply was very quick and I said with a lot of pride that I would worship Jesus with mud and I would worship my Hindu idols with gold. When I gave such that kind of light-hearted, pride-filled answer, my aunt was not upset. Rather, she asked me another question out of my answer. The question was, no, okay, if that is the case, tell me from where gold comes. The answer is very obvious. Gold actually comes from clay or mud. After that conversation, I left that place as a defeated person and the Spirit of God started stirring my heart for the next three days. I had no rest, I had no peace. After three days, I went back to my aunt and I asked her for the first time to tell me about Jesus Christ and why he came and what was the significance of his birth and his death and things like that. I asked her for the first time. This was when I was 16 years of uh, oh, 16 years old and she explained to me the significance behind his birth and his death and his resurrection. She told me that Jesus Christ came into this world to die on the cross in my place as a, to pay the penalty for my sins. When she explained to that, that sounded very logical to me, but more than what she told me, the Spirit of God was working in my heart and then I wanted to know more about Jesus. And then she also told me that if I have to have a right relationship with God, if I have to have the forgiveness of sins from Jesus, then I have to confess my sins and accept him as my savior. Then I left that place and then I came back to her after a few days and then I wanted to pray to Jesus to receive him as my Lord and savior. In fact, on that day, I started, I actually knelt down and started praying in the afternoon around 12 o'clock and then started praying like this. Jesus, I do not know really who you are. My aunt said that you are the true God and you are a God who speaks to your people and you are also a God who forgives their sins when they confess their sins. So I want to confess my sins now and please forgive my sins. That is how I started my prayer. I was kneeling down. There was nobody in the room, just me alone and that there was a fan and I was kneeling on the floor. 
and i was praying like that for 7 hours on my knees because my aunt said god would speak to me i had that strong desire that god would speak to me when i truly confess my sins the waves of repentance were coming over me and then i started confessing all the sins that god was bringing to my memory after 7 hours there was a verse that came and stood before me from psalm 103 verse 12 as far as east is from the west so far god has removed my iniquities that is how the verse says and then i took that verse as a verse of confirmation that my sins were forgiven and i left that place with joy and then i started attending church and my life was changed my habits were changed my language my language was changed i stopped worshiping idols god started making big transformation in my life as i was growing in the lord by attending church every week god did many miracles in my life when i was in my final year engineering i had severe jaundice and i was almost at the death bed god and the doctors gave up the hope and god changed god actually touched me and then gave me new life and then i made a promise to him that i would live for him and god was so good in my life that he answered my prayers many times and also he is helping me in witnessing this transformation power to other people in my life this is a great blessing and i want anybody who listens to this my testimony to take this and also confess your sins to lord jesus christ because he is a god who changes lives he is a god who really transforms and more importantly he will assure you that one day you will have this heaven as your as your dwelling place in his presence i before i conclude i just wanted to take you to one verse in the bible that is john third chapter verse 36 it says like this he who believes in the son has eternal life but he who does not obey the son will not see life but the wrath of god abides on him and this is a both a comfort and also a warning if you are not a believer i plead with you take this verse and believe in jesus and see your life will find meaning value and purpose thank you all right that's great that's really good yeah